a brief biography of Sarah Siddons, featuring portraits of the actress between 1782 and 1804. Sarah Siddons was the most famous actress in Britain during the late 18th century. She was a celebrity known as a tragedian. Her prominence reached to heights unknown to actresses during the 1780s. She achieved the height of her fame playing the role of Lady Macbeth, a role which she made her own and performed between 1785 until 1812 when she retired from the stage. Sarah Siddons was described as tragedy personified, a tragic muse, and the queen of tragedy. Artists sought to paint her, to depict her as the drama master she was known as. There are over 400 portraits of Sarah painted during her lifetime. Sarah Siddons, born Sarah Kemble, was born in Wales in 1755. Her father was the manager of a traveling theater group, the Warwickshire Company of Comedians. Many members of her immediate and extended family were involved with her father's theater company. All three of her brothers and one of her sisters performed on the stage. She fell in love with William Siddons, an actor in her father's company. Unhappy with her choice, her parents fired William and sent Sarah to work as a lady's maid and companion. She did this from ages 16 to 18. Her parents initially rejected her desire to become an actress, as they were hoping she would marry someone with a higher social standing. The profession still had a reputation of impropriety. After years of not changing her mind, Sarah's parents finally relented. In 1773, at age 18, Sarah married William Siddons. From then on, she was able to pursue her desire to act. In 1774, Sarah was noticed by a prominent theatre manager and producer who brought her to Drury Lane and the Theatre Royal in London, England. For the next 45 years, Siddons performed in major venues in England, all while bearing and raising seven children who travelled with her. Sadly, only two of her children outlived her. Sarah became a cultural icon. Her motherhood and children played into her roles. She often performed visibly pregnant, which elicited compassion from the audience and added more tragedy to her characters. In 1782, she stopped touring the provinces of England to return to London full-time. Upon leaving Bath, where she had performed for the last six years, she gave her famous Three Reasons speech. Her three reasons for leaving were her three children, which she presented to the crowd after her final performance. She said, These are the moles that bear me from your side, where I was rooted, where I could have died. When Sarah Siddons performed, the audience hung on her every word. Vendors selling food at the performances began to sell smelling salts, as so many audience members fainted during her performances. Sarah solidified her fame with her role as Lady Macbeth in Hamlet. She played that character for the next three decades, starting in 1775. Other Shakespearean roles she played include Desdemona in Othello, Rosalind in As You Like It, Ophelia in Hamlet, Volumnia in Coriolanus, and Queen Catherine in Henry VIII. Sarah's marriage to William proved to be difficult. His own career had stalled, and in the 1890s, she learned that he was unfaithful. They finally separated in 1804. Sarah was said to have used this heartbreak in her acting. She was so emotive on stage that on one occasion, people thought that she had actually died during a performance. In 1802, Sarah left the theater on Drury Lane to perform at Covent Garden, where she would remain for the rest of her career. Sarah retired from the stage in 1812 at 57 years old. She died in 1831 at 75 years old. Sarah Siddons was a cultural icon. She was one of the earliest celebrity actors who achieved a lasting fame throughout her long career, even as an aging woman. She was a trailblazer, a heroine, a tragedian.